whole reason why I, wanted, why I wanted to take this out was to see if this bitch can shoot some flames. Today we're headed to Branson and I'm glad I have my camera with me because I am going to be able to catch some fun hill action today. Possibly even mountains. I'll let you, get, you, you guys can judge for yourselves. This job doesn't offer many opportunities for uh, great scenery. Well, because, you know, the Midwest is just kind of fields upon fields and not very interesting. But this, this I enjoy driving in. Carving for cliffs, rocks beside the roads, the hills, the trees. It's much more interesting. That's Branson, though. Say what you will, it's a much nicer area to drive in Iowa or Illinois or wherever else. Ohio probably too. For Missouri. Shut the f up. You have three hours and I said shut the f up. Meeting. Shut the f up. You're telling me things I already know. Hey, we're at Casey's. One week later from the last clip. Those mountains were in near Branson were pretty cool, huh? I have to uh, uh, set up my... Uh, equipment i've got a mixer in here broadcasting headset and a whole bunch of other wires and stuff that i need to use to react to the need for speed unbound trailer um it, they someone apparently dropped it got dropped early i think by amazon italy or something like that someone made a boo-boo and so the trailer actually dropped an hour before it was supposed to <laughs> Or, or, or more than basically and um, so I thought I was gonna react to it as it premiered because I was able to park before it premiered um, I just parked I've been driving for basically 10 hours straight today not straight I did have to take a 30 minute break in there somewhere to stay legal but duh um, I'm gonna set up my stuff and uh, I'm gonna record that and hopefully keep it simple enough that I can watch it on my mobile data and also upload it on my mobile data because I don't have, I don't, how does Casey's Wi-Fi work? Is Casey's Wi-Fi gonna reach me from over there? I doubt it. Camera's like, I'm focusing. Check out my professional setup. We got my mixer plugged in, got my headset on. Look at me, I look like a gamer in a truck with a neck beard because I, this grows way too freaking fast, man. Got the external hard drive plugged in. 
Should I just go back to recording gaming stuff in here? I'll see if I can fine tune the audio. I just got sick of trying to get the audio to work in here. But we gotta make an exception today because a trailer came out today as of me recording this vlog. Even though I know I own a PC copy of Wondershare, it's not freaking working. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna download the trailer on this computer so that I can watch it back without using unnecessary amounts of data. For God's sake, how is it 43 freaking degrees already? <laughs> okay, this is one of the more trickier. He just pulled out onto the road there. The dock is right there. I have to pull into the street, the, the active traffic street, and then back it up into the dock. So I'll have to pull through, go out that way, angle myself and back in without hitting the light pole or that electricity box thing there that green thing so we'll see and we also have to not hit cars <laughs> but i've done this before all right bitches. Continue. you are gonna have to shut the fuck up and not tell me about my hours while i'm busy doing this about to turn green. Yep, it turned green. Here comes some of the traffic that I can't, I can't hit. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to wait for that to turn red. Okay. Might have to Tony Hawk the curb a little bit, but I think we've got this. I wish I could show you guys my mirrors, but I've got to really concentrate. This is, in my opinion, the trickiest back on the entire account one where we go upside upside down yeah upside down would be tricky uh, underground rather that's the trickiest one oh, I think I've actually done a pretty good job here oh like a boss here we go going up the curb just a little bit oh yeah like a G oh man that's just one of my better better lineups in general <laughs> I'll show you guys in just a sec. Luckily, it's a pull-up door, not a swing door, so I can really, I can really see what's going on here. I don't have swing doors block on my, my view here. I'm gonna move myself to the right like an inch, just so that the yellow, yellow lines of the dock are covered. Nowhere near the light pole. The first time I did this, when I first got on this account, I was pretty sketchily close to the freaking light pole and that whatever that green box is oh man i'm pretty damn proud of that you guys are safe and we are backed in apparently this building used to be a a hotel or something like that and so that's why these docks aren't really set up for 50 foot trailers i think a hotel would have more likely just been getting delivers from truck like that over there. Something shorter and more maneuverable like a straight truck like that. It's freaking October 8th, and apparently it's 31 degrees out here in Ellsworth, Iowa. God's sake. It's getting too cold too fast. Why can't my camera focus? Well, good news, I'm going home today. Bad news, I slept more than I needed to, so. <laughs> I had my alarm set for 8 or, or 9 or something like that last night and I woke up at 8 and thought I'll rest my eyes until my alarm and then I slept past my alarm. So now all I get to do is work. I was going to work on the Fast and the Furious videos but now I have to work on them at home which is much more difficult to do. <laughs> and I don't, I don't like working on videos at home unless if it's recording at the, at, the, at the most. I don't like editing at home. Oh boy. Work 13 hours driving the truck more or less. Sometimes all the way up to 14. Let's just go 13 and a half. Then try to spend a couple hours working on videos. Only downside is I spent most of yesterday just waiting for videos to upload. And there's no point in trying to edit while videos upload because the computer runs like dog shit. I waited for videos to upload. I got really tired, so I thought I'd just go to sleep and just wake up a few hours before I had to power up the truck. I did wake up a few hours before I had to power up the truck, and I was like, ah, it's an hour before my alarm actually goes off. I'll just sleep until that. I slept past the alarm, 
and woke up 30 minutes before I had to power up the truck. Well, an hour before, which really isn't a lot of time. My life, the algorithm's going to hate me. Man, look at those fall colors. That's awesome. Fall is definitely my favorite season. The look and the temperature. Shut the f up, shut up. I managed to post a video today on the best. I literally, I literally edited that video whilst watching my customer's store employees unload my trailers and then I just posted it using my customer's Wi-Fi. Well, my carrier's customer. You know what I mean. But, haha, uh, -ha, I was able to post a video today. I was, I was pretty mad I didn't post a video today. So I'm glad I was, modern problems require modern solutions. Just freeload. I'm gonna go home and plug this camera in. It's literally about to die. The, uh, the service engine light is on. Occasionally it tries, it struggles to idle and then it makes this rattling noise. So, um, I might not beat on it too, well, I'm gonna beat on it a bit, but I don't know what could be causing that. Could be, could potentially be this. Okay. That wire, basically, the way the shop described it is that we've basically got the uh, the mass airflow sensor piggybacked and I guess kind of spidered together with the air temp sensor so that we can run the uh, the Alpha N tune. Maybe I'm maybe I can unplug that and it just uh, won't try and use the mass airflow sensor at all. I'm not sure. As long as I'm not getting rod knock or anything like that, because it's just struggling to idle. Looks good though. Not getting codes is fun, but it's kind of part of the territory of modifying basically anything. I mean, I've got a good Christmas tree here. A couple things will go away if I take out the parking brake and all that, but we still got the air temp sensor thing from when we changed the tires. So we're hitting an issue here where it's, oh, where the throttle That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound like a normal. The M3 should not sound like that. It doesn't, it's not making the same engine sound. Missing cylinders? That's not how it sounded before. That's fucking fun. It's struggling to accelerate. Okay. I guess let's try unplugging that. The code, the, the service engine light came on last week and I thought it was for having a loose filler cap because apparently that can cause it. But I don't, I'm not sure that's, I don't think that's actually what this is. So let's unplug this. I guess let the, the electronics maybe try and figure out what's going on. Maybe it's being caused by the MAF delete and things not being set up properly. Jesus, the alarm almost went off. Well, the light instantly went away. Oh, there we go. Well, unplugging it f***ing fixed it. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that alone. That makes sense. Even Frank Smith told me to unplug the stuff for the MAF sensor and the air temp sensor. So I guess the way we've got it spidered together really isn't a temporary solution because this is a MAF delete tune. I think the guys at the shop might not have quite understood that I was going to flash the car right away. And so keeping the MAF sensor and all that spidered together wasn't necessary, but that's fine. They still did a great job. I'm, I'm not gonna 
there's no reason to complain. They did fine. Um, I just needed to uh, follow the instructions of the the tuners, which is totally on me. It that doesn't reflect badly on the shop at all. I, I, I still I still love working with them. But I'm gonna turn on sport mode. <laughs> The whole reason why I, to, why I wanted to take this out was to see if this bitch can shoot some flames. And it's not, it's not windy out, so we could do some more sound tests too. Let's do this. I'm actually a little shocked that it's not shooting the flames. Might need to try one more time. Doing it again. Ah, I think we just need the, the air box. I think we just need the air box. Shoot, man. I thought we solved it. That's fucking fire. We got fucking fire. We did it. All right. I just want to get a better shot of that. Now that I know how to do it, you have to rev it up all the way to red line to do it. Holy crap. All right. We're going to try and get that. Man, honestly, you're probably cringing. You're probably cringing, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm just happy it can make fire. I wasn't, I was at first like, ah, oh, okay, so it's just some good pops and bangs. Nope, if I rev it all the way to the red line and then let it fall, the pop it does around 4,200 RPM, that's what causes the fire. I don't know how it looks when the car is moving. I'll have to get someone else to film it or I'll have to put a GoPro on but that's for a good thumbnail with actual fire coming out of the exhaust. Actual fire. That's pretty sick. Also check it. That's cool looking. That might be a full fucking moon. God damn. Looks like it. Well, this probably isn't the end of the vlog. I'm kind of trying to do vlogs a little differently now where I just record stuff and bundle together things that can make a video and then whatever makes the video too long can go into the next video so this episode might be about me doing fire with the uh exhaust tune the the m3's tune i am almost certain that when we get the air box we can fix the wiring to have it be done as intended you know the way rk tunes recommends it this is just a temporary solution uh, solution this is just a temporary solution, and I think that's what's causing all these problems with the... Because I think it's something to do with the MAF sensor being involved and the air temp sensor not being involved the way it should be. Because it is in there, but it's spidered together with the MAF sensor somehow. Um, I don't understand how the shop did it. Oh, yeah, that is basically a full moon. Look at that. Pretty clear sky. Makes me want to watch a Kurtzkazog video. Um... Cause, cause, ah, ah. I don't know how to say it properly, but I think we're good for now. If that air box doesn't solve it, I'm not quite sure what the problem is. I'm hoping it's not rod knock or something silly. I'm pretty sure, because it's kind of like the issue I had with the WRX, where I took, where I changed the blow-off valve system from recirculating to vent to atmosphere, and then it could ne never idle properly ever again after that. I think I've done something similar here again. I've got a great habit of messing with the idles of my cars when I, that really shouldn't be the case with an off the shelf tune, but it's what I do. It's break shit. Um, honestly, I'm just really stoked that this car makes fire and the air box is almost done. So hopefully we can get that on soon. If not, 
we can always get rid of the, the, the MAF sensor completely and just stick the air temp sensor somewhere in the stock air box. I don't know. Um, but the current air box is done. They just need to put stick it on a race car engine and test it to make sure it can withstand everything and also that the stickers on it can withstand 150 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm going to drive this home. Hopefully it sounds good, so I'll, I'll film it and I'll keep the footage if it sounds good. I've also got a really bad habit of trying to drive with the parking brake up, and as a result, I think I've destroyed the parking brake. So that's a bit embarrassing. Still sounds good. Hopefully I'm not damaging the car by doing this. I noticed that a lot of you guys no realize what I meant by it's kind of sounds like a single turbo inline six because it's a six to one. So it does sound at <sighs> between, let's go with 1K to 5K. It sounds like a single turbo inline six, but then it gets back to the E46 M3 signature sound at high RPMs. Your boy being such a smooth operator. <laughs> I unlocked the trunk as well as the, uh, the bonnet. There we go. Freaking pants are weighing, getting weighed down by all the stuff I've got in them. All right. There's probably a special order I'm supposed to attach these in, like positive first and negative. I don't know. As long as it charges, it charges. If I have to replace the battery again, it is what it is. Charging 95%. Works for me. Now, I guess we gotta, gotta go back to life as usual. It's a shame. I like driving this thing. I love driving it. Black Pearl is safe and sound. Morning, everybody. Jesus. Back to work. Turn up the heat. Nothing more cozy than a warm truck on a cold day. This is nowhere near as much of a, a cold morning as normal. Out in Iowa, I imagine we're gonna be getting some sub 30 degree mornings, I guess, because that's what happened to uh, last week. I'm gonna put my food in my fridge though and uh, edit the final Fast 4 video and uh, then maybe this video and then on purpose I've actually not set myself any other projects to work on this week because I kind of just want to get good sleep this week so it's kind of like a break. Might be cutting it a little close because I don't have anything planned past this upcoming Sunday. Um, I could try and upload this vlog on this upcoming Monday, we'll see, but I've got a couple commentary videos I want to record. Honestly, I'm kind of glad it's, uh, it was a slightly warmer morning than I have been getting. The, uh, that rain could have turned into snow. $600 later charged to my company's account because heck if I'm paying for that, I don't need to either. What's up, big man? <laughs> All right, um, I'm at the the, 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 the the truck stop. I switched it to on duty, not off duty. That's dumb. Yeah, I've never made that mistake before. 
I was on duty for 30 minutes instead of sleeper birth. I mean, I should be fine regardless, but that's... Go to info. Honestly, I should be fine. I've been getting to the Wichita store so early anyways. And then their teams aren't there anyways. So it might lead to me spending less time at the stores, which means I'll be able to do the, the deliveries and still be on time and then make it further back afterwards. I kind of wish I brought my Xbox controller with me because <laughs> uh, I kind of want to play some video games, but um, most of them require an Xbox controller and some of them are on an emu emulator, so I kind of need a controller to play them. I could see if I could buy one at one of my stores though. Oh, and before I go to bed, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. We're, we're sitting at a cool, let's see, 61,739 subscribers. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick, you guys. That's cool to see. Uh, I've only got one fast forward video left to edit. By the time this vlog comes out, you'll have already seen it. Like I said, then I'll work on Need for Speed. Fast Five will be for December. Think about maybe looking into seeing how I can get videos sponsored. Just to kind of supplement the earnings of the channel. That might be something I should start looking into. I might not be at the metrics I need to be at in order for that to be something even worth trying. But how do I know when I'm at that point without looking into it? So I'm going to look into it. I'm already parked next to two dudes. Hopefully they're... This guy on the left of me is putting up his windshield shield. So I'm hoping that means he's not moving anytime soon so he won't run into me. And this dude right on the right of me looks to be sleeping too. So hopefully no one runs into me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Tom the Racing Joker. I'm going to go edit, eat, and go to bed. Take it easy, everyone. I love you. Most of the time. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye.